Libras, happy Valentine's Day. I don't think I've said it for any reading but yours. <laughs> to be honest with you, this is Ali Jade with Ascended Stars. And uh, I'm really excited to bring you your reading today. You are the second to the last reading. I've, I've just scrambled to do these readings for you. My beautiful Libra energy. Uh, I want to bring you the most divine, most gorgeous uh, messages from spirit directly to you beautiful venusian energy of libra the scales balancing making things happen oh god you're gonna love what just came out oh my god okay so i have been creative libras and you would be so proud of me as a rising libra uh i've i've combined the decks i've combined six decks because mama needs to get straight to the message <laughs> So I have a feeling it's going to be good for you, Libra. I have a feeling you are really in the right vibe, in the right place in your mind about what's going on in your love life and how you're handling it. Most of all, I'm impressed with how wonderful you're handling it. Where is, oh my God, I think I forgot the message for my two signs, the, the Angela Hartfield message. Jeez Louise. Okay, wait, I shouldn't be looking at it. <laughs> till the end all right here we go here we go here we go what's the message for my libras trust okay libra you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition this is a great time to have faith in your intuition because once you find love you're gonna have to let go of love how does that sound ironic like your life no I'm just kidding because we're Mercury retrograde uh, we're two days in, in out, uh, we're two days away from the full retrograde happening in Pisces so um, we're gonna have this wonderful energy and then the brakes are gonna be put on but we're gonna be in this beautiful uh, energy of Pisces which Venus enjoys Pisces actually they're good girlfriends um, they they console each other very well Okay, Libra, you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. So you're more humble now, okay? This is a good thing for Libra. You're more humble now. You're off that, that um, soapbox. And so now romance can come to you a little more, a little more fluidly, a little more consciously. It says romantic feelings can come up from this authenticity that you have, the trust and the humility. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you have something going on, it's it's it does mean that some there is there is prog there is potential. That's what I want to say. Potential there. Divine magic, yeah. And it can it can transform into something even better than just potential. But this this is a seedling energy that I pick up, you know, and it can come into full bloom because we have the full moon energy, which um, we're going to have the new moon, not the full moon. The new moon is the seedling energy of Pisces on, the, on February 23rd. And the full moon is, um, I'm not sure what moon that is yet, but it, then 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 that's going to come to full bloom so in about over 30 days perhaps some something really beautiful can happen and that's good because we want to be out of this retrograde energy so it looks like divine timing is here for you too not only divine magic but divine timing and it this is a creative time like i said venus enjoys being in pisces and that's your ruling planet so it's not like a bad time per se because you know what you're an air sign so this watery element don't mess you up too much. It don't trip you up because you'd be thinking about the emotions. This is where you can get like, well, let me get some perspective on this. Let me take the aerial view. You know, let me let me examine this with the microscope. You're not emotional. Like you don't have to be Libra. This is the most beautiful thing. You can say, you know what? Let me look at the positive side. Of course, Libra wants to look at both sides and come out with the positive side. So I, I, I find that this is a very uplifting and a time and energy for you. You're exploring your options. Maybe because you don't have so much like, you know, uh, emotion involved in it. Like maybe because you don't have so much writing on it because you're like, eh, like I could whatever. Like, you know, maybe Pisces energy like 
like simmers you down a little bit. But then we have Mars here in Capricorn. And then we have um, Venus with her Mars, with Mars. So this all offer, offers Venus that uh, initiation energy because Mars is about going, go getting, initiating, doing. So this could be not maybe not the energy of not so much caring, but uh, more of like go, go getting, go getting. That's what it is. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So things are going to slow down and you're going to be able to really look at your options in a better light because that's what I see Libra do. I don't see you guys moving too fast and quickly. You know, not the mature queen or king. Spiritual growth. Yes, you've learned. You've learned. You don't you're not in a hurry. Spiritual growth is not in a hurry, by the way. So this is ah, it's divine energy here. Really really divine. Pride. Okay, so maybe one or two of you have some issue with pride. Okay, maybe this pride energy is like causing someone from going, coming forth, right? You know, coming, being the one that comes up front, that being the first one to initiate. Okay, so with this fire energy, I feel like this is going to be addressed. So I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Also, like it's also about having self pride. And I saw this in Cancer. That's what it was. So it could be like the divine feminine now having more self pride. Okay, now having more security and more confidence. That's another energy that I'm picking up. Yes, and then this, this in essence, brings abundance to my Venusian uh, tribe here of Libras. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. It just, I feel you guys have a really uplifting vibe right now. You're not letting things hold you down and you're, you're like disconnecting with stuff that right away doesn't resonate with you. Or you're, you've come to that place, I think, where you have to have the discernment now you have that discernment now it's a, I just it's a beautiful energy to live in this type of um of this type of vibration and your relationships it shows it shows your relationships probably are all high quality relationships you know um very either family based or very fundamentally uh grounded in a in a institution or a company that you have developed in or yourself have developed you know I just feel like such a success such a good uh, situation with you guys I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good yeah you're really you're really you're really connecting with who your tribe is right now you see all these little connections here these are little all veinage you know almost to the heart chakra but it's it's a more beautiful geometric message message here and it's like purple is higher consciousness and this pale energy um, could be a little yellow, but it's a skin color. It's like you're being your authentic. So you're having higher source giving you the confidence to be your authentic spiritual self. And this is going to attract such a high vibrational um, connection with your relationship in the romantic realm. But it almost seems like romance here is, again, we have an agape type of love. Where romance is kind of a side um, benefit of, of another type of energy that's come in and this this is the one energy the the peaceful energy you know that you guys uh, are holding a grid you guys are holding this energy down through um, your consciousness or your higher selves so this is I, I can't even fathom what's going on here but it's gorgeous speak the language of love like I, yeah like I feel also messages of like Nonverbal messages are super important. This is a dot on my thumb. I was I had a, a, a red marker. I think it was like here. I had a red marker. This is the one. So it's not a, a freckle because <laughs> I saw it on my other video. Okay, I'm sorry. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. So this is a time where you can get deeply involved with expressing your love, being with the ones that you love. Um, so yes. I'll leave you with that message and then I have an idea of what I'm going to do later on in, in the weekend for my beautiful um, Valentine's weekend vibration. So uh, in lieu of this of this message, and I'm a ri Libra rising, so I got the idea before the, I did this video, but this is confirmation. So just be on the lookout for that over the weekend, um, my beautiful Libras. And this message I hope has resonated for you. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate and love you guys. I'm trying to grow the channel. And um, much love and light to you. Have a wonderful Valentine's weekend. Libra.